Smoking just to stay in yeah. there. Smoking till the day that I die. Thanks for rolling up. I'm Two Blood Marley. And this is Certified Pothead. Smoking on one of my afternoon spliffs. You know what we about to do, Bird Club? I'm about to take a look at these cannabis conspiracy theories, which I like to call cannabis conspiracy theories. Today's theory revolves around George Washington's horse. When historians unearth secrets, they often find mundane things. Shopping lists, love letters, or cryptic notes about breakfast preferences. But when George Washington's secret journal was discovered, it wasn't filled with such ordinary fare. Instead, it chronicled a tale so groundbreaking, so mind-altering, that it makes the Boston Tea Party seem like a casual potluck up between pages that still smell faintly of fresh earth and perhaps something a little skunkier. The journal revealed the name of his prized war horse, Indica. Yes, Indica. The strange, synonymous with relaxation, introspection, and the kind of creative inspiration that makes your worst ideas sound genius at 2 a.m. The revelation has sparked a whirlwind of theories about Georgia's relationship with cannabis and what it might mean for the true story of America's founding. Did Washington blaze trails figuratively and literally? Let's light up the truth and take a deep puff of this conspiracy as we delve into the life of George Washington, his hemp field, his heroics, and the legendary Indica herself. The discovery of Washington's secret journal has been compared to finding the Rosetta Stone. Except this time it's rolling papers. Hidden in the floorboards of Mount Vernon, this artifact wasn't just a historical treasure. It was a literary contact high. The journal chronicled Washington's life in vivid detail. From military strategies to personal philosophies with numerous references to herbaceous joys. One entry read, On this day I reflect upon the soothing effects of the crop. Its smoke doth carry my thoughts like an eagle, soaring above mortal concern. Was Washington a closet cannabis connoisseur? Historians are divided, but the journal leaves little doubt. Even ink smelled faintly of terpenes. Among the entries, the biggest bombshell was that his devotion to his horse named Indica, a war horse with a temperament so chill she could have been the equine ambassador for good vibes only. Here's a riddle for you. I was first among many, yet chose to step down. My face graces papers and cities renowned. With cherry trees chopped, my legend takes root. What am I, this patriot in a powdered suit? Indica wasn't your average steed. She wasn't about prancing or fancy gallops. She was about keeping calm and carrying on, literally. Washington's journal described her as having a temperament befitting the most serene of monks. It wasn't uncommon for soldiers to claim that while other horses neighed nervously at cannon fire, Indica seemed to stare into the distance as if pondering the meaning of life, or possibly debating what munchies to grab after post-battle. Legend has it, Indica got her name from Washington's fondness for the cannabis indica plant, known for its calming effects. While the other founding fathers were busy arguing over federationism, Washington might have been taking long rides on indica contemplating the union with a little herbal clarity. Indica's role wasn't limited to ferrying Washington around. She inspired troops with her unshakable demeanor. One soldier recounted that during the Battle of Princeton, Indica stood firm like the spirit of liberty herself, unyielding and steadfast amongst the storm of war. In the roof, icy waters are led the way, a daring act on a Christmas day. The Hessians slept, but not for long. What is this crossing forever strong? Long before the dispensaries and vape vaping fields of hemp at Mount Vernon. Officially, the crop was for making rope and sales essential tools for a budding nation. But unofficially, let's just say George might have had a blazing trail in more than one way. His journals describe the versatile uses of the plant, including its effects on the spirit while historians believe may have been a euphemism for recreational use. He also recorded experiments with the plant, with its resin, noting its stickiness and potent aroma. Could it be that Washington was crafting some of the earliest concentrates? Mount Vernon wasn't just a plantation. Visitors might marvel at its gardens and architecture, but the real story lies in those hemp fields, where history and horticulture intertwine like vines on a trellis huh words i'm gonna have to stop talking riddle time by the potomac i found my retreat 
a plantation home both grand and sweet with gardens and views it stands serene what is the name of this historic scene washington was the mind behind the revolution indica was its heart and perhaps its chillest participant the battle of brandywine in 1777 was one of the most harrowing moments for the continental army outnumbered and outflanked the troops faced almost certain defeat morale was lowered in a bone with a clogged stem enter indica washington mounted his trusty steed and rode into the chaos as cannonballs roared and muskets cracked indica remained as steady as ever her calm demeanor spreading through the ranks like smoke through a circle inspired by their leader's bravery and perhaps lulled into a sense of calm by indica's vibes the soldiers regrouped it fought valiantly, holding the line against the British. Because heroics didn't go unnoticed, she became a symbol of resilience, a living embodiment of the revolutionary spirit. And who could forget her nickname among the troops, the Green Galloper, Riddle Time. Amidst bitter cold, my troops found despair. Our feet left blood, but our cause was fair. Survival and strength we learn to forge. What is this name of this wintry gorge? Today, George Washington is remembered as a visionary leader, a fearless general, and a reluctant president. But perhaps his greatest legacy lies in his ability to find calm amidst chaos, clarity of mixed confusion, a mindset that may have been inspired in part by his fondness for certain green pursuits and the Couture deserves her place in history not just as washington's war horse but as a symbol of the chill unyielding spirit that helped birth a nation her story reminds us that sometimes the path to greatness isn't just bathed with courage it's sprinkled with seeds of relaxation and a touch of herbal wisdom so next time you light up to celebrate your freedom remember george and indica they didn't just ride in history, they blazed it. The answers to the riddle. George Washington, the crossing of the Delaware, Mount Vernon, Valley Forge. I'll see y'all on the next one, bruh.